Hey Warrior Moms, Michelle here. We got a message from LaKendra and it was actually pretty much a um, a little bit of a, a mom rant and maybe a question at the end and I totally understand this. She had a very rough day yesterday and anytime I hear of a mom having a rough day, I want to give you a hug because I know uh, bad days are bad days. So we want to just try and uh, support each other and that's what this group is for and I'm so glad she came and, and she vented to us because we are all here for each other. Um, so basically, uh, LaKendra has a son and uh, she basically started the post up by saying that she had a bad day. Uh, he was yanking things off the shelf when she took him to the stores. As soon as he got there, his behavior was kind of like out of control. Then when uh, she got home, he, he was scrubbing his new shoes in the dirt and the leaves and he's just looking at her trying to get a, re a reaction he's doing it on purpose to get some type of uh, attention it's definitely an attention seeking behavior um he, so he feeds off of it and uh, when he gets into the house she steps away for a second when she comes back she sees that he's kind of hugging the cat too tight she pulls the cat away from him he starts going nuts he starts screaming crying moving furniture tearing up paper wait uh, you know wasting his food and throwing it on the floor kicking his toys um, you know, uh, the therapist is suggesting that she ignore his um, attention seeking behavior and then eventually um, he'll realize that that's not a, a source of getting that type of reinforcement. And uh, she just had it. It was a horrible day. She wanted to just sit down and cry. And boy, do I understand this. You know, uh, especially in the earlier days, we had tantrums and it was just frustrating for me because I didn't know what she wanted. And I felt like it was happening all the time and it was just, you know, you just feel helpless. And then the first thing that came to my mind when I read this, uh, LaKendra, is I want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. It's so important that, especially when we're, we have children on the spectrum or children with special needs, that we're doing everything we can um, for them, but we also can't do that if we're running on an empty tank. And this is just a prime example of that. If, if, some, if you have a bad day and bad days are going to happen, they're going to happen to all of us, and you haven't been taking care of yourself you've been giving yourself here and you've been working and you're taking care of your kids and taking care of your child here and, and this happens and you've got nothing nothing no energy to even handle this and then a day like this could could just snowball into something uh, worse and that's not what I want for any mother we need to always be battle ready as much as possible and the best way to do that is to take care of yourself so self-care is so important and it's not selfish and it doesn't have to be expensive self-care could be napping when they nap it could be uh, you know s sleeping in uh, for an extra hour in the morning one one or two days a week it could be taking a walk it could be reading a book uh, taking a bath it could be a mani pedi it could be anything it's just a, a, a some time just to kind of collect yourself and just feel like you know you're doing something for yourself for a change so important so devalued not even appreciated at all especially in the mom world and I'm not sure why but to be your best mom to be your best self to be your best mom you need to take care of yourself so that's number one if you have a child that you're working through you have issues like this you need to be taking care of yourself Number two, um, it does sound like what your therapist is telling you to do is the right course of action. It's what I would do too. Uh, whenever we have um, attention seeking behavior that is negative, I do my best as long as it's not hurting anybody else or harming anybody else um, to ignore it. So, you know, in this scenario, I think, you know, even though it's so frustrating to, to see him ripping up, uh, you know, kicking 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 his toys and, and ripping up papers and throwing food on the ground you have to do your best to ignore it because you you had already said it that he's doing this and then he's looking at you like mom look what i'm doing look what i'm doing aren't you gonna give me attention look what i'm doing we have to kind of just kibosh that and make sure that we're actually giving positive super duper positive reinforcement and attention to the, the good behaviors he does. If he closes the door, if he makes his bed, if he picks up the toys, uh, if he eats all his food, these are the things that we wanna um, go super crazy about. Even though if it seems mundane, it's gonna show him that certain behaviors get a, a desired response from mom and these other behaviors get nothing. 
Another thing that might be going on here as well is because you know you're obviously working on this. Your teacher had told you about, hey, let's we got to start ignoring these behaviors. It's going to get worse. Um, he could be having what they call an extinction burst. So what that is is that basically when you start working on a behavior like this, and you're trying to push them away from doing this. So let's say he's kicking his dirt, his uh, his shoes in the dirt, and he's looking at you, and you look away, and then he starts to do it even more and even more. It, the way it works, it's almost like the the behavior goes up and then it just disappears. So um, the reason that happens is because usually them just kicking it, him just kicking his shoes into the dirt will get you to respond. But then one day it doesn't. So then he does it more and then he does it more. So it's almost like that. And then once he realizes that, that he's not going to get the desired response from you, it's going to start to go down and then it'll be gone completely. So that could be potentially what's going on here. Um, um, if things don't change and uh, your teacher is not a behaviorist, I would recommend contacting a behaviorist like a BCBA and they can do an FBA to determine if there's mo more going on than att just attention seeking. And an FBA is a functional behavioral assessment. Um, they'll come in, they'll take data, they'll, it, it, we just talked about this in another post I, I, I put up. You become a mommy detective if you want to take the lead with this. You could start to see when this happens, if there's certain things that are happening while he's doing it, uh, what time of day, does it seem to do it more in the afternoon, does he do it more in the morning, does he do it in certain places. And then once we have an understanding or a picture of where this seems to happen the most or why it seems to happen the most, um, then we can start to build, develop a game plan around it. So I hope this helps. Please, mommies, take care of yourself. If you took nothing away today, then we all should be just taking care of ourselves. I love to do my nails. I do them. I'll go for a walk. I like to read. I like to Netflix in my car. Sometimes I'm just in the driveway. Husband's in the house. I'll be right back. I just got, I got to check something in the car for about 30 minutes to an hour, and that's fine. Anything we need to do to take care of ourselves helps us to be better mothers, better family members, um, and helps us to be battle ready for what's what's to come. So if anyone has any other questions, let me know, comment below, and I will talk to you mommy soon. Bye.